Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about my project pan 23 and 23, how far I've come, which product I used up and which one I probably replaced it with. So if you want to see uh, how I was doing in February, then stay tuned. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I absolutely love colorful and good makeup. I feel like today I'm a little bit more of a monochromatic uh, fan, but I mean, why not? So if you want to see more of a fun and adventurous, maybe also like a surprising makeup, then subscribe to this channel. I upload three times a week. And yeah, if you want to see what I did in February, then keep on watching. I am excited though because I finished three new product and of course I started in at least one new product which I am super excited about. So uh, let's go into the project pen, how many times I used everything. I do have a 50 knife like sheet where I uh, wrote down what or well, how many times I used the products. It's so even if you can't tell that I used it at all, I do have it in writing. Let's start with the brows, which again, this is the like order of the list. And I used my brow powder, which is the Glam Shop uh, brow powder, eyebrow powder number three. I used it 15 times. I don't know what it would like me. Let me just tap a little bit. Oh no, not again. Listen. These brow powders are not like the, maybe it's probably it's because I like throw it like down 15 times and I repress this. By the way, this is a repressed one. Normally it comes with a split pan. Again, I used it 15 times. Uh, this is how it looks like. I didn't have to change to order from Glam Shop. I would order another color and uh, the two because of my colored hair. So yeah, but I used it 15 times. You can definitely tell I have a pan. Again, why is the packaging always like this? I love to use it though. Even at the moment, I am a little bit more of a cool tone brow. I mean, that's not a bad thing, I think. The other brow products I used are, of course, my trusty NYX uh, Lift and Stitch uh, brow pen. This one is an ash brown. This one is like almost empty. I'm going there, hopefully in March I can finish this one. The problem is I do need to order a new one again. This one is an ash brown, which fits perfectly at the moment. I'm trying to get it in Auburn. Sadly, I don't find it in drugstores. In drugstores, they're just ash brown, I think, espresso and like a deeper color. So <laughs> Auburn is, uh, on. I'm on the hunt for that, but I want to order a few NYX products and listen, they're not all in one place, which I absolutely hate. Uh, did I say I or, like used this 24 times in February? 24, it's almost every day, just four times I didn't use this one. And then I again have the Essence Brow, which is this, Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I used this 11 times. I do have to say I did snitched in a little bit of the Maybelline one, which I am wearing today as well. Again, this one is, I think, the blonde version. This one is the like Toby version or Ash Brown version. I do, I am on the hunt for products that fit my hair. When I find them, I will switch these products out to the ones I, like listen, I will switch these products. I, I don't have any mercy with that. And then of course I will roll in the other products when I have them. Okay, let's come to a, I feel like a winner for this month. And that is the Kaleidostone Activated Primer. I rolled this in last month when I was finishing the Maybelline one. And this one I I was using 27 times. 27. I just haven't haven't used it in one day. What the heck did I do? Listen, I definitely I didn't use it more than once, but at some time I had two eye looks, so of course I need it twice the day and guess that counts. So yeah, this is a 27 times, guys. 27. 
The first product I used up is the Revolution Concealer. I, f I told you last week that, maybe you can tell, that I just had a little bit left and I was like removing the sponge and then I was using this 16 times till it was finally done and empty. And then of course, because the Marimbi I finished last month, this one I used up this month. So I rolled in my last concealer I have at the moment and this is the Maybelline Superstay. What is it? Active Wear in 05. And this one I used 14 times. So yeah, I was like, going through concealers, which I am super grateful for because, again, I had three and now I just have this one. Hopefully I find a new one, like, listen. I don't think, though, I will go through this quite quickly because I am at the moment at a point where I'm just using a little bit, a tiny, tiny bit, a small bit. So, yeah, I don't think that I will use it up, like, quickly. I think I definitely will use this up over the year. Uh, but yeah, I do like this quite a bit. By the way, I did like this one as well. I think none of the concealers I own or like finished uh, was one I hated. Again, I did like th this one. I just didn't like the applicator and the like the packaging was quite messy. That was the only thing I didn't like about this one, though the concealer itself was really nice. And this is the same for this one. This is a little bit more of a drier concealer. Again, it's a super stay line. I feel like that is always a little bit more drying. But again, I do like it a lot. And the color is really nice. I do wear it today. And this is the shade 05. For powder, I do have one product I finished and one product I didn't. And the one I finished is my Maybelline Pressed Powder. I do have both versions. I have the loose and the pressed one. And the pressed one I used 20 times and then it was finished. You can definitely tell there's just a little bit left, which I I try, I will try to use up this completely, but I think, like, listen. That's one use and then it's uh, done. I will enroll another one, but I am not sure which one yet. I will definitely, I, I do own the hourglass one. I felt like the last time I used it, it was making me quite oily, even though I'm not that oily, at least not in this like region. So I will test it out and if I do like it, I will put it in into the project pen. If I didn't like it, I will declutter this one just so you know and then uh, I have the fit me loose powder and this one I was using um, by the way in 05 fair this one I used 16 times and um, yeah I'm mean, listen this is a loose powder it's like going strong so yeah but I use this also quite a lot of times in February Let's come to primers, primer sprays. I did use my micro, like my milk hydro grip nine times. You can definitely tell I did, I did a good, like a good thing here. Again, it is still my favorite primer. So that's why I absolutely love it. And I'm trying to use this up and I probably will. And then my hydro grip setting spray, I used five times. You can definitely tell five times is like going, going long places. This one was in uh, January and this one is now here on the last day of February. So yeah, I'm telling you, I think this one is not that, you know, I, I do like to bathe myself into this setting spray. I do love it quite a bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy about this one. Let's come to a product I did use up as well in February. Again, I think it's the last product if I'm not mistaken. And that is my This Charlotte Tilbury uh, Beautiful Skin Foundation. I used it three times and then it was gone. I've told you last month that this would happen and I just have a little bit left. Uh, listen, this is like, I can't get anything out of it. Like there is the pump and yeah, I didn't get anything out of it. I used it again three times and I still love it. Listen, I still love it. I in though rolled the um, L'Oreal Nude Perfect Match Nude Foundation. This is with 1% hyaluronic acid. This is in the shade 0522. And you can definitely tell I used quite a bit. I used, like, listen, I used three times. So I used them equal parts. 
Uh, yeah, I still, listen, I did find that this one is a stunning foundation. I totally forgot about it. I was debating about this one or the uh, Rare Beauty one. And I was like, yeah, maybe let me give this one um, a go first. And yeah, I used this three times. Let's come to bronzer, blush and highlight, uh, which I all used 14 times. And these ones are my daily uh, job uh, products. Um, this one is the Catrice bronzer, again, 14 times. I open it quite carefully because I did, I did try to use it up. So that's why it's a little bit crumbly in here. You can definitely tell. I think I will use this up in March and then I will enroll the one I already have and that is the Nabla one. So if this one is empty in March, I will though use the Nabla one, which I am using the Nabla one, but normally just um, when I do my makeup for YouTube. So just so you know, then we do have the MAC uh, Glow Play Blush in the shade Blush Please. You can definitely tell like I am doing like progress here, but it's really, really slow because of course you don't need like a lot of blush. Stunning though, again, 14 uses. And then the uh, like highlight is the Natasha Denona highlight and you can definitely tell alone of the packaging that uh, again, I used this 14 times and this one of course will be using sparely because this is a highlight. I don't want to like look like Edwin Cullen. So yeah, this one. <laughs> This one, again, I used also 14 times. Okay, let's talk about the other products. Again, I was uh, talking about my bronzer in Umbra, which is the one from Nabla. This one, I think, like, it's not, it's not so much product here as well. Listen, if I, like, finish both of these bronzers, I'm not pretty sure what I do because then I miss bronzers, but maybe I use the other one. This one I use uh, 10 times. And again, if the bronzer from Cretis will be finished, I will switch to this one to finish this one. And then uh, I used 11 times the highlighter I use normally for YouTube. And this one is the Maybelline Studio Face Studio Chrome Extreme Highlighter in 200 Diamond Glow. Uh, listen. It looks like I never even touched this one other than like dropping it and repairing it. So yeah, that's about that. And then dropped it again. Good for me. It's, uh, it's like fall into my lap. And then we do have my Peripera, which listen, is the Ink V shading in 03 Hazel Grey. This one is of course the new one, which I uh, started last month. I used this 12 times in the month of February. You can definitely tell, you can't tell anything. Like listen, I feel like this one is like holding up around 10 months and then it's like finished again. Last year I uh, like emptied a whole one and I do love it still, so yeah. These ones were the face products. Let's talk about eyelash glue. I do use eyelash glue quite often, normally, all the times when I'm coming here and like um, filming something. I used my dual blue glue 10 times uh, the month. I think that is a good, good amount, let me tell you. And which I am surprised, it doesn't look like, like I am here at the moment, so, over like 50% is gone. And normally at this stage in my life, uh, normally this would be like a total mess up. I couldn't use it, it's glue everywhere. But this time I was really nice. Look, look at this. It's almost clean around the edges, which is amazing. Listen, normally I have to throw it out because it is like glued down everywhere. Okay, let's talk about lip products. I do have my favorite combination of products. I used my uh, Bobbi Brown Crushed um, Lipstick in the shade Shazan Nude 11 times. Uh, then I do have my lip liner, which is the next one in natural, I feel. Yeah, it's natural. Like, listen, this is, uh, it's, it's getting lower. This is nice. And then I also have my gloss, which I use 
more regularly it's 17 times and yeah i do i do like the combination of these three so i feel like for me that is a gorgeous nude combination if you never tried these or you have them at home by the way i do absolutely love these nyx uh, lip liners i do love these i have a lot Listen, I have four of these and um, I still have two of these. So yeah, it's working great for me. And the last product for my project pen is my Pixie by Petra uh, Liquid Glitter. Which one is it? The Liquid Fairy Lights in Crystalline. I used it four times. Listen, I was like bamboozled by other things. And listen, I did. I bought other things that are glittery as well. So yeah, I definitely need to go there and uh, empty this one. There is nothing like, I definitely think I can like uh, clear this out in maybe March or April, I think, because there's not so much product left. I do can see through it uh, at times. And the only thing I don't like is that there is no stopper. What did I? I am not sure if there's no stopper or if I like removed the stopper and just can't remember. But um yeah, if you if you watch here like into the tube, there's no not much product left. Again, I can definitely see myself scraping off like listen, scraping off product and use it up. So just so you know, this one I definitely need to focus a little bit more and just not be bamboozled by all the other shine products so yeah but again i will definitely finish this in hopefully march probably april these were all the products i uh, made some progress in i definitely love that i had finished had finished uh finish three products which i absolutely love i hope this is like the the way it will be uh this year because last year was not a big loss, but it was not what I expected and hoped. So this uh, month I finished seven products so far and I did good progress in others. So I am super excited about it. Again, I definitely will try to bring in other products when I realize that I have like doing some progress in here. Um, I didn't like put in the mascara so far yet. Um, and there are other products I maybe can join in. Maybe you have an, a good idea of what I should bring into uh, my project pen. So please leave down a comment if you have any product you wish you see here and you wish to me to uh, use up. And yeah, I wish you a beautiful week though and we see us in my next video. Bye guys.